Are you sizing your jump rope correctly? Hey, welcome to the channel, Old Guy Inc. Do me a favor, please hit subscribe. Okay, so one of the things that I think a lot of people who are struggling with double unders are suffering from is the incorrect rope length. Now, I'm not here to tell you exactly how to size your rope because I think that's the problem. It's kind of different for everybody and it depends a little bit what you're struggling with. Now, I will tell you that the standard uh, for somebody who's fairly decent at jump ropes <clears throat> should be approximately sternum height or a hand below if you do your research on the interwebs. Now, technically what you're gonna do is step on it with one foot, bring your feet together. You're not gonna hold your handles, okay? Because if you're holding your handles correctly, they're gonna be sideways, and so that's not increasing or decreasing the length. So, you wanna hold the top of your rope where you're not holding your handles. One foot, bring your feet together, pull it into your sternum, and as you can see, mine is at what is technically supposed to be the highest or the longest level that it should be for me. And a lot of folks rep um, recommend that it should be one hand length, so way down here. Now, I think that varies. I personally like mine a little bit longer, as you can see. But I think a lot of folks, when they're starting to do their double unders, their jump rope is too short, right? What's the number one thing, in my opinion, that people struggle with during double unders? It's this. Okay, what happens to my rope when I start lifting my hands up? It gets shorter, okay? And so, by shorter, I mean higher, right? It gets higher off the ground, and I have to jump higher to get over it. So you'll see a lot of folks who can string together one or two double unders, because when they start, they're down here, and then every double under, it looks like this. <clears throat> and then pretty soon, of course, you're gonna mess up, because your jump rope is so high in the air. So I personally am a believer in a jump rope for, let's say, beginners to intermediate. Uh, I consider myself a pretty good double under. I can come close to knocking out 250 to 300 tops unbroken double unders. So I'm not an expert, uh, but I'm decent. And I definitely like mine at least up here at the sternum. So what do I think? I think if you're struggling with double unders, that yours should be at least a hand length above the sternum. So against what some jump rope companies will tell you uh, on the internet, but I think if you have a little bit of a longer jump rope, when you're first learning, it gives you a little bit of leeway to still raise your hands and still have that jump rope hit the floor, right? Hopefully you've seen my other video. You should be aiming for a target on the floor 12 inches in front of your feet and you should be listening your jump rope should hit the floor and you should hear it tick 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 as soon as you do not hear tick tick that's your indication that your arms have come up too high now you may still be making successful jumps but if you stop hearing the jump rope hit the floor obviously that means it has risen up off the floor and if that keeps happening, eventually it's gonna come off the floor higher than you're jumping and you're gonna make a mistake. So anytime you're doing double unders, imagine a target 12 inches in front of your feet. Try to hit that target. So don't aim for your feet. Don't aim for under your feet. Aim to hit the floor 12 inches in front of your feet and listen, tick, 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 tick. And if you hear it stop hitting the floor, that's your indication. Bring the hands back down, tick, tick. Oh, oh, I don't hear it. Bring the hands back down. Now, some folks will say, no, you don't want a jump rope that's too long because if you do do it correctly, that's too much rope hitting the floor. What I'm telling you is you can jump rope with a very, very long rope easier than you can jump over a rope that's too short because it's too high off the ground. So give yourself a better chance to be successful. If you're learning, find yourself a jump rope that when you're not holding the handles is above your sternum, somewhere between your clavicle and your sternum, somewhere around the rogue or above is what I'd recommend to start if you're struggling. Listen for the jump rope to hit the ground, aim for a target 12 inches out in front of your feet, and as you get better, 
then yes, another mistake that people make is they don't change their jump rope. So you have to continue to resize your jump rope as you get better. So you start with the longer jump rope, which is what I recommend. As you get better, you are gonna wanna shorten that jump rope a little bit, okay? That's why they're adjustable, so that you can cut more off as you get better. But think about those things and keep working on those double unders. Try different size ropes. I think the longer the better to begin, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. Hit me up in the comments. Please do me a favor and subscribe, Old Guy Inc. Good luck out there. Keep working out. See you guys.